Hey there, I'm Laboom Like, and today I'm gonna finally get into my Make 9 for 2022. So first things first, um, if you're unfamiliar, even if you are, Make Nine is one of those kind of universal sewing challenges in the online sewing community that originated from a woman, I believe her name is Rochelle, and I'll pop up her handles here, but it originated on an old blog that she used to have, and now she has the blog called Home Row Fabrics, and she also, I think, runs the Make Nine Challenge Instagram page. But the idea originated with her picking nine projects to create throughout the year. So it's one of the challenges that I really, really enjoy participating in. I have been doing it for, I want to say three years now, and I have never completed all nine projects. And in my mind, I have never failed to make nine. I love it. I don't usually plan out projects at the beginning of the month like some people but I really, really love Make Nine because it kind of gives me some time in the beginning of the year to sit and reflect about what I do want to create and what skills I want to build over the year and what I would like to add into my wardrobe or bring into my home. And in those moments where I have a big rush of sewing motivation and I'm not sure what to create, it's really, really nice to have a list of nine things that I've already thought about a lot and that I already know I'm gonna like. So I always have a potential project that I can be making. That's the way that I look at the Make Nine and that's why I really, really like doing it every year. Yeah, let's just get into it then. So I'm gonna go around the um, square, my Make Nine square, and I will also pop my square over on Instagram. That's gonna be the graphic that you see if you follow me on Instagram. But the first thing that I've put up there is something I've been putting off for quite a, some time, but an item that I really want in my wardrobe is a beautifully fitted matching bra and panties set. I would like to kind of raise the bar on my skills and try to make an underwire bra. I have never done it yet and I need to just try <laughs> instead of waiting and hoping to magically acquire the skills to do so. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that and hopefully once I play around a little bit and get the fit right, I will enjoy making bras for myself. I want to try it out first before I just say I'm not going to do it. At, at my current shape right now in my current body, I have a lot of trouble finding well-fitting bras. It wasn't the case for me about two or three years ago. I had a very standard off the rack size that was pretty easy and I did not, <laughs> it was really easy for me to find in the stores. And I really appreciate, I did appreciate that at the time. And right now I can't find things in stores. And if I'm gonna end up spending at least $70 on a nice bra anyways, I think I'd rather put that money into the fabrics and notions that I know are gonna actually be really high quality and learn how to do it myself. I know that the panties will be no problem. I've made panties before and I think once I make some harder ones, I'll really actually enjoy having a handmade set. Staying in that vein, the next item I wanna make is a nightgown. And I'm not talking anything super fancy. Um, I like sleeping in a big t-shirt sometimes, especially once it gets warmer. And I figure I also really like to look cute when I sleep and I don't have a nightgown. And when I go looking for nightgowns online, I don't really shop online that much anyways, but when I'm looking at items online, they either all skew very um, 1890s grandma or like very disintegrating fabric, she and quality type stuff. And there doesn't seem to be a lot in the middle. And I know I can make it. It's gonna be a simple make for me. Um, I, it's just something that's gonna make me happy. So um, I think that'll be a project that I really, really enjoy. Finishing up that row, I 
have another item that I've been putting off, but I'm really looking forward to making is a simple satin pillowcase set. I sleep on satin pillowcases because yeah. So I sleep on satin pillowcases and I like to make my bed in the morning. And right now my satin pillowcases don't match any of my sheet sets or comforters that I have. And I realized this is silly. I can make a pillowcase. I can make a couple of sets of pillowcases or a few different pillowcases that will match whatever I have on the bed at a certain time. All I have to do is just get down to it. So I put it on my make nine and I'm pretty sure I'll get it done. Cause you know, pillowcases are easy, right? I shouldn't procrastinate that project. <laughs> The, another item on my make nine list is a jacket. That's all it says, simply a jacket. I think it's an item that I haven't made yet. Um, although I don't go shopping that often, I don't have a lot of store-bought clothing. Jackets are one of the pieces that I have been buying at stores more often. I have found things that I think are better quality than what I can make. So I've kept quality pieces in my wardrobe. And right now I think I've gotten to the point where I've decluttered some of the jackets that I don't wear as much and I'm finding that that's an empty spot in my wardrobe. And it's something I haven't made before. Not even like a simple zip up, super simple collarless jacket. So that's why I just put a project of a jacket on the list. It can be, as long as it closes in the front, has sleeves and can go over another article of clothing or over an entire outfit, that's gonna fulfill this square for me. After that, down at the bottom corner is trousers. So this is actually a repeat from my 2021 Make Nine. I think I have a theme in here of items I've been putting off for a long time because if you watched it, I don't know if I share this in my 2021 Make 9 video. I, I'm pretty sure I've shared it on my Instagram though. I have had the same lavender pin cord deer and doe Narcisse pants cut out for at, at this point it's probably two years. Um, I need to just make them. <laughs> they are cut out. They, I think are interfaced where they need to be interfaced. The lining pieces are cut out. Everything is marked, I believe. And all the notions are picked and like neatly placed together in a project pack. And they've been like that at least for a year. So... I know I still want those pants and I need to finish them. I know next to Deer and Doe, I have the Axis tank. This is, or next to trousers, I have the Axis tank. This is, I think, the only item on my Make 9 that actually is a specific pattern. And that's because this is a pattern that I have been eyeing for, um two or three years, maybe two and a half years or so, ever since I started looking a little bit more at indie patterns. And at the time that I first put it on my little wish list that I have, I was like, ooh, 12, $13 for a pattern? That's a little high. And I was used, I'm used to paying $2 for a pattern because I have mostly bought commercial patterns during pattern sales. And now as I have a pretty robust pattern collection and I'm looking at being, again, very intentional with what I add to that collection, there aren't a lot of two to six dollar patterns that I find myself really wanting or not having something in my stash that I could kind of like hack and create. But um, there are a lot of really interesting indie patterns that have been interesting to me for a long time. So why not go through that list and just buy some and make them up? The Axis Tank is one of those. I think it's gonna be extremely versatile in my wardrobe. I think I'm gonna be able to create some casual items that I can wear day to day 
along with some active wear and potentially even some lounge wear with it as well. So I'm really looking forward to that make and I'm really excited to buy this pattern as well. I think it'll also make a really good stash buster. So let me know if you have the access tank and what you think of it. In any case, I'm getting it and I'm gonna make it up this year. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, okay, almost done. We have an oversized mini dress. I have two patterns in my stash that I have been thinking about for this one. I don't know, I, I, I like the silhouette of dress. I um, have been meaning to just try and make one up and I'm looking forward to having that in my closet. That's like pretty simple, that's that. <laughs> I think an oversized mini dress, dresses in general are like, if they're in a comfortable fabric, usually it's a secret pajamas type thing. And I like mini dresses, I'm 5'4". Um, it's not that short or anything, but I really love my silhouette in shorter skirts and dresses. I, I am just really confident in shorter skirts and dresses. So I'm really excited to make up a mini dress or two or three sometime this year. And this is last out of the items that have already been chosen for my make nine, but I want a simple V-neck t-shirt. Um, I, I just think it's, a, a, a simple v-neck is one of the items that will get just a lot of use all year long in my wardrobe. So I'm looking forward to it. And last but not least, as you see in the center, is a wild card space. <laughs> I, I think of, I've seen this on a bunch of different make nines over the years. People do sometimes put a wild card there. I haven't usually done that because I don't know, I've come up with nine items that I really wanna make, but I, I wanted to get this video out and I also didn't want to rush adding a piece just because I, I wanted to have a complete nine squares. So I added a wild card there to give myself a chance to be inspired sometime later. So maybe when I do a three or four month check-in on my make nine, I will have filled that space, but I really like leaving it open and, and just, I like the idea of giving myself as much flexibility in this project as possible. So yeah, that's my make nine. <laughs> Thank you for watching and letting me share it with you. I really enjoy sharing these videos. I enjoy sharing my sewing process and I really appreciate you being here with me. If you like this video, if you saw anything interesting or you just like watching any of my sewing videos, please do like, comment, subscribe. Um, I, I appreciate those kinds of actions and I appreciate you guys interacting with me in this space. Let me know what's on your make nine. Let me know what y'all are making up and take time to check out some of my other videos for my 2022 sewing plans. Okay, y'all. Peace.